Welcome to Excel Basics video number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Basics. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about formatting. Now, broadly, there are two types of formatting. There are stylistic formatting, like fill color and font color. There's also stylistic formatting, like borders. There's also number formatting. If I click on this cell right here and use the keyboard shortcut to go to Format Cells, Control-1, I can see under the Number tab it says General. So there's no, the, the number format applied is General. Close that. If I click in this cell and Control-1, I can see I have Percentage Number Format applied. And this is a very important tab. There are virtually unlimited uh, types of number formatting you can do. Click OK. Hey, let's click on our next sheet tab. We'll first talk about stylistic formatting and then we'll talk about number formatting. Hey, here's a little table here um, and we want to format it. Hey, let's um, uh, center this, this label across the top. Now I'm going to click in cell A1 and go all the way to E. and I'm going to show my um, ribbons here, Control F1, uh, Merge and Center. This is in 2003 on the standard toolbar. Basically, it should be taken out of Excel. I don't know why 99% of textbook teach you this, but if you click this button here, which basically most humans on the planet Earth do that use Excel, you get into all sorts of trouble. It's hard to highlight and move the table. It's hard to insert columns. You can't use formulas. There's all sorts of terrible things. So there's a great alternative. I'm going to get rid of that. We'll use Control-1, and we'll look at first the Alignment tab. And there's a great option here under um, Horizontal, Center Across Selection. It basically immediately eliminates all the trouble we get from Merge and Center. It's a great option. Now let's go to Fill. In 2003, this used to be called Patterns. I'm going to click Red. If I'm going to use a, a value color like that that's pretty dark, I'm going to go back over to Font and click Font Color, like white. And then I'm going to go to Borders. There's none outside. Outside puts a border just around the outside, not all the little lines in between. So I'll click that one. Click OK. Now, I want to highlight from January to February, and then I'm going to use my Control key, because I want to highlight these labels too. I'm going to then click and drag. So using Control, you're allowed to select things that are not next to each other. Now, um, I'm going to control one, go back to fill, and I'm going to select uh, black here. And then I'm going to go back to font and select a font color. I'm going to click OK. Now, I want to highlight the whole table. There's a keyboard shortcut that will highlight the whole table. You find the asterisk on your number pad, and then it's control asterisk. It highlights the whole table. And then I'm going to control one. And now I'm going to use Outline and Inside on Borders. Click OK. Now I'm going to highlight the Inside table here, and I want to add some number formatting. Control-1. Go back to Number. I'm going to select Accounting because it lines the decimals up. I'm going to then click OK. Now that's kind of busy, so I'm going to highlight the middle numbers here. And there's a convention with tables like this. You just have the dollar signs at the top and the bottom, and everything else, you turn them off. Control-1. Then I'm going to say symbol, none. One last thing we want to do here, I'm going to highlight the last row and control one. Since we are um, adding up here, you put a single thick line there to represent that you've done some calculation. And then you put a double line to represent that this is the bottom line. So I'm going to click uh, that thick. Actually, I'm going to select that one and then click over here. And then click that one and click right there. Notice just the top means it'll put it just on the top, just on the bottom, just on the bottom. Click OK. All right, so that's a little uh, stylistic formatting. Let's go to our next sheet tab, Formatting 3. We have to talk about the very important. I'm going to Control F1. Control F1 turns the ribbon off. And we're going to talk about the very important number formatting. Now let's talk about time first. 1339. I want to type 13 and a colon and 39. 
and then hit enter. It looks like 1339 is in the cell, but what actually is in the cell is the proportion of one day. Now I want to scroll down here and just do a little template. I want to say time in, enter time out, enter time worked. Time in, I'm going to type 8 colon 0, 0. And now if you want to differentiate between PM and AM, you have to type a space and then AM. And then the same for uh, PM, 5 colon 0, 0 space PM. And now I want to show you something shocking. I'm going to highlight these cells, Control-1, go, go to the Number tab. Notice I'm going to click on Time and select this one right here. That's a format. Notice it says 8 AM. But watch what happens when I click General. I'm getting rid of the time formatting and clicking OK. That's pretty shocking. But all it means is 8 o'clock is 33% uh, of the way through the day, and 5 p.m. is 70.83% of the way through the day, or a proportion of one 24-hour day. That's really what time is. I'm going to Control-Z. And the way you would do a formula to calculate this is you always take the later time and subtract the earlier time and hit Enter. Now, that's not right. Con I'm going to uh, click in that cell and Control-1 and apply General. Really, to get a time that is workable, like adding and stuff like this, and not using custom formatting, what we can do is edit this formula. Now, in this cell right here, I'm going to put parentheses around this and then multiply by 24. And then that gives us the 9. And we could use that then uh, to multiply by times a, a uh, w hourly rate. So that's time. It's a proportion of one 24-hour day. What about a date? 10 slash 25 slash, slash uh, 05. It looks like we typed that date, but that's not really what's in the cell. What is in the cell is the number of days since December 1st, 1899. That is so we can do date math. Now let's do invoice due date. And it's going to be um, 10 slash 25 slash 08, uh, 05. And and then I'm going to type uh, today, and it's not really today. I'm just going to say today is 11 slash 21 slash 05. And then I'm going to say days past due. And the beauty of having these dates as a serial number underneath, number of days since eight, uh, December 31st, 1899, is that we can then subtract them. Let's go ahead and highlight these in Control-1. See, so it's got a date fat, but what format. But what if we click on General? Those are the number of days. So of course, since this is in November and this is in uh, October, this is more days away from December 31st, 1899. I'm going to Control Z and do a simple formula. Equals this minus this. It's the same as up here. You always take the later date, subtract from it the earlier date. Now in some versions of Excel, you actually have to Control 1 and then apply General because it, it gets a, a date format. So date and time, very, very important. Now let's talk about a couple other things. I've already pre-formatted this. So what I, I, when I put the number 10 in the cell and I hit Enter, notice it puts the dollar sign, the decimal, and the 00. zero. That saves a lot of keystrokes. That's accounting. I'm going to type 10 and then Enter here. That's currency. Currency has a floating dollar sign. Accounting is fixed. Accounting always lines up the decimal. Currency does not always. Now, what happens if I type 3 here? Because it's pre-formatted, it actually, uh, get what gets put in the cell is 0 .03. If you don't believe it, Control-1, click on General. Oh, look at that. So when you apply the percentage format uh, to a cell before you type numbers, you're allowed to put a 3 in like we did. I'm going to control Z. More on percentages a little bit later. Uh, the final two things, if I type 768, uh-oh, even though I can see it there, it's got a custom format. Um, if I control 1 and go down here, you can see that's the custom format, semicolon, semicolon, semicolon for blank. And then finally, if I type in 768 right here, the word rad shows up. And that's beyond the, uh, 
the scope of this introductory video, but I'm just showing you there's lots of things possible. All right, we'll see you next video. Remember, as always, if you want to download the workbooks, go to the Excel is Fun channel and then scroll down here on the left, and sure enough, there's a link right there. And these have uh, the workbook downloads Excel basics. You can even go uh, download my book. It's 144 pages and then print it out. And there's all the other links for the workbooks. The address right there.